if money didn't exist, would you still get up and do what you do every day? When I make a goal, the goal has to be big enough that people that don't know me very well think I'm crazy. They don't understand it because the goal is so big. That's because they don't know how I attack things. My commitment when I choose to do something is absolutely unwavering. Everything that I do somehow leads back to reaching that goal. So there really is no time off. I might, I might do something I enjoy, but it is directly linked to me making forward progress. That's the type of commitment that I hold myself accountable to. You know, don't just throw yourself in front of the truck. You know, make sure that you've got what it takes to, in, to withstand the impact and then pick yourself up and keep going. You know, don't take a big bite off of something, you know, and you know, make a big goal for yourself unless you've got the nuts to buckle down and actually, you know, haul it out. Because our world is filled with people that love to talk, but don't have the backbone and the work ethic and the discipline to carry out the tasks that it takes every single day, you know, to reach these goals. The winner finds a way. The winner gets up off the ground. The winner doesn't stay on the ground for a while. He might take a deep breath before he gets up, but that's, that's, that's the longest you're gonna find him on the ground. Because you have to create guidelines and rules and, and sayings for yourself that, that will keep you on track, because nobody's gonna keep you on track but you. The winner will stick in there. He'll find a way to deal with the discomfort. He'll find a way to groom himself mentally so he can get through the, the tough spots. You know, in order for you to make large gains, you have to do something every time you train that you haven't done before. Don't start something unless you intend to finish it. 